Hey guys, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. As you guys know, I recently just hit 50,000 subscribers. Super stoked. Really appreciate all of you that have subscribed to the channel. It's grown a lot over the years, as we're about to see. I'm going to do something kind of fun. I'm going to go back and watch my very first videos back in 2012. Uh, this is going to be a little bit painful, uh, <laughs> because these videos are pretty terrible, but I thought it'd be fun to go back and and watch them and show them to you guys. So let's go. Before we get into the video, I want to challenge a couple of YouTubers to do this same type of video. I challenge John B from Fish in the Midwest, uh, Andrew Flair, and One Rod Run One Reel One Reel. Uh, make a video of you watching your very first videos and uh, post it. I want to see it. I think the first video I'm going to start off with is fishing heavily pressured lakes. This was my first actual video where I went out and caught a bass. So uh, let's watch this. Oh, beautiful. I love oh, hey, wow. tackle inside of here. <laughs> First of all, my hair is what I don't know what's wrong with my hair. Good night, I'm tiny. Today I want to be sharing you some of the tips and techniques that I use to catch fish in a really pressured lake. As bass popularity explodes, the lakes are gonna get more and more pressure. Fun fact, the camera I was shooting on was actually an HD camera, but for some dumb reason I turned the setting all the way down to like two forty, like yeah, it's just like Oh, we, okay, we got 480, 480, but I don't, I think I thought I would get a higher frame rate if I did that, I, didn't, I don't know what I was doing, but anyway. So let's start off with lures. Lures, of course. You want to shy away yep. from big, flashy mm -hmm. lures like this. I will use these What's with the paint? in muddy water, but for the most part, I just don't. The paint, my table's not very and clean. other lures like this, mm -hmm. it's just, you're not going to catch much fish. Right. And the big worm right there. Now on to the lures that I do use. Mm -hmm. This is one of my most successful. Oh, I remember that bait. Small worm. Yep. The ringworm. The ring ringworm. Oh look, you can buy the you can buy this the ringworm if you go right here. Texas rig, I don't know ringworm. why I put that in there. I thought I'd maybe get a sponsor. And this I don't really catches fish, along with a tube. Now, Practically sure all we fished were tubes like back in those days. This is about the only thing we fished, which was like tubes and brush hogs. We caught fish too. And also, we're going to talk about brush hogs. We're talking about brush hogs. Now, this lure, we do use. <laughs> we do use. use smaller brush hogs, yep. more natural looking, not worm. Now, this worm I may use in the summer, ledge fishing, just because. I had never been ledge fishing in my life. I just used that because I thought it would sound really smart. Oh, that transition. All right, so though. guys, I skipped under a dock. And this is what came out oh right there. Goodness. Looks like the bass was hiding in like a haystack or something. The poor fish. Now, I've read enough YouTube comments to figure out that people do not like when you set fish in the grass. So, this is a pretty big mistake on my part. Chunk. There's a chunk. It's um, a chunk. He ate it on a worm. Yeah, it's a worm. Here we go. Hey guys, Tackle Insider. And today, uh, we're going to be pitching mats in one of my favorite lakes to do it. Apparently, Rodney hasn't learned how to hold a camera even after all these years. He's still pretty shaky. Um... Oh my goodness, look at this. Um, That's weeds. There's nothing but weeds on my hook. I wasn't even fishing, I was just trying to act like fishing, I was fishing. Four fives, and maybe even some sixes. So, should be a great episode. Oh, there it is. Okay. Good That's night. Rodney is tiny. Oh my goodness. He's like taller than me now, but he's like... He was a tiny little thing back then. Okay, this is, this is a big fish. I caught it. It was probably a four... Four or five, three or four pounder. I was really excited. Oh, oh my! He's in a lot of weeds. He's pulling it out. There we go. What Look at that? that fish! Look at that fish! It's got to be a five pounder. It's got to be a five pounder. Four and a half. Of course, Rodney did, telling me it's I not a five pounder. On the beaver tail, right there. I made those lure. I made that oh, lure. Made that was a homemade lure. Weeds. Let it sit there, trying to punch it through the weeds. He come up through and just launch. Look at that fish! Oh, oh my fish. word! That is now watch this. Now check this out. This is what Rodney. Uh, apparently, Rodney likes to feel the. Thank you. What in the world? Oh, okay. squeeze the belly. That's Dude, good. That's, awesome. that's professional. Oh, that release! Over some of the baits we've been using. All right, so this next video is called "How to Modify a Bass Popper." Here we go. Hey, folks! You're oh, watching the tackle. The beret. The show getting you the inside scoops. I don't know why I wore a beret. I thought it maybe looked okay, more intellectual for some dumb reason. And there's that stupid watermark again. The outdoors popper. I'm about one dollar and ninety-four cents at Walmart. The lighting so is trash in this video. Now oh my this goodness! One I tweaked. Like, 
Can't see anything, can't see anything, can't see anything. Still can't see anything. Oh, wait. Well, they say There's a feather. Fishing. Here we go. We're going to watch the very first video that I put up. Uh, it's called Tackle Insider, Berkeley versus Live Bait. When I made this video, I actually was hoping it would go viral. But uh, as you can see, it didn't. What's up, folks? Welcome to the... I think I just gotten home from church because I have my, uh, you can see here, my um, long sleeve plaid on. And as you notice, there's this huge watermark right in the center of my face. I think it was because the editor I was using was a free editor, and uh, the only way you could export a video is if they put their watermark there, so it was pretty pretty pathetic. Basically what I've got is some Berkeley Gulp pinched night crawlers. Berkeley Gulp pinched. My camera, good night. That camera's terrible at focusing, too. There it is. Oh, yeah, that's in focus. It's pretty realistic. Good night. Had a bad cold People think my voice is high now. My voice was insanely high back then. I should shut them down pretty good. But I should have pursued a career in singing opera. No trouble catching them today. Here we go. Oh. Alright guys, see by the shaky footage. In. Um so after a few more fish, I'm gonna Whoa, there's start. that transition again. Third fish. Okay, uh uh oh. On the Berkeley. Oh, that's that's really humane right there. The poor bluegill's like dying. Oh my goodness. So if the people in the YouTube comments got a hold of that, man, it would be bad. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Oh that oh oh Another nice there, bluegill. I can't see. I couldn't even see that. Good night. So this is the fourth fish. Fourth fish. And I'm gonna. Switch As I recall, that fish was actually a pretty so big bluegill. I was pretty impressed. See if we can't catch any fish on worms. I mean, this. I didn't think it was gonna catch the. But I guess it proved wrong. What is up with that I stupid transition? Oh. <laughs> well, guys, there you go. There are my old videos. They're pretty terrible. Uh, <laughs> I think my newer videos are a lot better. Uh, thanks again for 50,000 subscribers. And All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.